Adel Al Jabir, a former advisor to the late King Abdullah, a former ambassador to the United States, and now former foreign minister. He was only the second Saudi to be appointed foreign minister outside the royal family. Jubir has been demoted to Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. It comes after nearly three months of questions and denials about the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Saudi Arabia has faced international backlash, including from the US Congress, who said Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was responsible for Khashoggi's murder. During a regional summit earlier this month, Jubir denied the Crown Prince's involvement and said this. With regards to issuing an arrest warrant, uh, we don't extradite our citizens. I believe Turkey's constitution prohibits the extradition of Turkish citizens. Jubir was appointed foreign minister by King Salman in 2015, a month after Saudi Arabia went to war in Yemen. Airstrikes were launched with the aim of quickly crippling Houthi fighters backed by Iran. Instead, the war has dragged on for almost four years, killing at least 60,000 Yemenis. He's also overseen turmoil within the GCC, including a Saudi-led air, land and sea blockade of Qatar for the past 18 months. All moves that have stoked controversy around the kingdom, and something his successor, Ibrahim al Asif, now inherits. By having Ibrahim al Asif, who is uh, an old school, he's a veteran, he served as a minister of um, finance for 20 years, from 1996 until 2016. So now he's having him as a foreign minister in order to give the, the, the message that now we are back to traditional foreign policy. Al Asif is the former finance minister. He was one of many wealthy and powerful Saudis arrested and imprisoned in Riyadh's Ritz Carlton Hotel last year. The Crown Prince championed the arrests as a necessary crackdown on corruption. Khashoggi, the Yemen war and the GCC blockade, three of the main ongoing diplomatic crises facing the kingdom and its new foreign minister, Ibrahim Al Asif. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.